This video will show how to manually install the IBEX USB driver on Windows 7. Normally Windows 7 will have no problem installing this driver automatically, but if certain security settings are enabled it may need to be installed using this method. First we want to verify the location of the driver folder. It is easiest to have this placed on the desktop. If you open the folder, there is a subfolder inside called Windows Vista 7 8. This folder contains all the driver files needed for the installation. If you open the folder, the file should look just like this. Next, we want to open the Device Manager. Click the Start button and then go to Computer, right click, and select Manage. When this window appears, select the Device Manager. Once the Device Manager is open, we want to connect the IBEX. Once the IBEX is connected, it will show up as an unknown USB to serial device. For this process, we will install two separate drivers. To start, right click and select Update Driver Software. And then select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Now we're going to select the folder that contains the driver files. While doing this, ensure that Include Subfolders is checked. Click Browse and then scroll down and if it's on your desktop it should be at the bottom of the list with all your other desktop folders select IBEX USB driver and then Windows Vista 7 8 once this folder is selected click OK verify that the path is correct and then hit next So right now it's installing the first part of the driver, which will come up as USB Serial Converter. But you will get this error message saying that the device driver was not successfully installed. This is normal and should appear. So we want to close this window. Now USB Serial Port needs to be installed. So right click USB Serial Port, select Update Driver Software, and then same as before, browse My Computer. This folder should still be selected. It's the same folder as previously. So once we ensure that's selected, we can hit Next, and it will install the driver for USB serial port. Once we hit Close, it'll ask you to restart your computer, which I will do. But first, I want to show you that it should come up as USB serial port, and then in parentheses, it'll list the COM port that it's connected to. If it shows up like this without any question marks or anything next to it, that means the driver was installed successfully.